Hi, my name is Brianne, and I farm with my family outside of Guelph, Ontario, growing corn, soybeans, and wheat. Welcome to our wheat field. Today we're going to be talking about how a wheat plant grows. Wheat is an annual plant, which means it completes its life cycle within one growing year. There are two types of wheat grown in Ontario, winter wheat and spring wheat. The field behind me is a field of winter wheat, which means it was planted last fall and will be harvested in the next couple of weeks or during the month of July. Winter wheat is planted in the fall so it can hibernate over winter and then resume growing in the spring and early summer. Spring wheat, however, is planted in the spring and will be harvested in August. Wheat seeds are planted into the ground using a seed drill and will absorb moisture from the soil. Once there is enough moisture underground, the seeds will begin to grow or germinate. During germination, the seeds will send shoots above ground and roots below ground. The shoots above ground will turn into leaves and the roots below ground will turn into the root system. Tillers are extensions that grow off the leaves and these are used to absorb water and nutrients for the growing plant. The leaves and tillers will work together during photosynthesis to convert sunlight into carbohydrates and other nutrients the growing wheat plant needs. Once the plant has finished growing the tillers and leaves, the stems will elongate and the plant will grow to about three and a half feet tall. During pollination, the wheat plants will start to grow tiny ears or florets at the top of the plant. Inside of here is where we'll find the wheat seeds. When the wheat seeds are being developed, they will fill with a milky liquid that will eventually dry out as the plant ripens and turns golden. A mature wheat plant is ready for harvest when the plant has turned golden and the top part of the plants have tipped over because they are full of seeds. This is a signal to the farmers that they are ready for harvest. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions about how Ontario grains are grown, please visit goodinevergrain.ca.